down to all the towns Head away, holiday South Aussie with cars, he's on sit down South Aussie with cars, In South Australia we will go Head away, holiday South Australia all the way South Aussie with cars, well, welcome to another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. And the good news for me is, if you're currently watching this, then the show hasn't been axed yet. What's the show all about? Well, it's about showing you and encouraging you to get out and experience traveling in South Australia. You know, I know times are tough and money's tight, so I've designed a show that's all about affordable travel, easy locations, a couple of days away, a night away. I'll show you how easy it is to travel in South Australia, how cheap it can be, and most of all, how awesome it is. So, give me the next half hour of your life. I'll show you something really... Ah, shit! I'll show you what's coming up on the show. Do you know Barb Wild was invented by women? We'll check out the famous Annie's Lane Winery in Clare. We'll give you the chance to win a free holiday to Kangaroo Island. Actually, you can enter that right now. South Aussie with Cozzy.com.au. We talk road safety tips with Metro Holden and we'll find out what Hamish Hartlett from The Power loves about living in South Australia. But first, folks, we're heading to the Flurio Peninsula. We're starting the show with the Bank SA $200 challenge. This challenge is purely designed for couples. That means no kids. <laughs> the deal is pretty simple. I've brought you to Mount Compass because I've found an accommodation place here that's cheap, located perfectly, and it's super romantic. Go grab some cash and then I'll show you. You're gonna love this. The Flurio Peninsula is one of the hardest places to spell in SA, but one of the easiest places to visit at just under an hour from the CBD. Here you can visit cellar doors, laze around the river and mess about in boats, learn how to surf or take the kids to see the whales. All this, and it's so close to the city. Now, Inga, you're the CEO of Minko Cottage here. <laughs> so that's what you yeah. told me to call you. Yeah, that would be nice. Tell us about the place. Um, well, my brother actually built this cottage when he was um, 17 for a wow. school project. Yep. Oh, hello, overachiever. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's a bit annoying, but that's okay. Um, and it's on our family farm, which is... 400 acres with 200 acres of heritage listed scrub and we have a, a really beautiful dam over the hill just over here. Yeah, I heard about Gorgeous. this dam. So people that actually stay here can go fishing and potentially yep. catch, what, what's in there? Trout, redfin. Wow, yeah. how cool is that? Yabbies. So you can so catch a feed of yabbies and a trout and come back to the cottage, <laughs> That's them up. Right. You might want to have a few other supplies just in case. But, um, <laughs> Fish not guaranteed. <laughs> not exactly. But the kangaroos are guaranteed. As are the frogs that you can hear chirping in the background, potentially. They're, yeah. And what sort of people come here? What sort of visitors do you have? Uh, usually couples coming for a yep. bit of a romantic retreat. It's um, quite rustic. It's just one one big room uh, with the bedroom, the living room, the kitchen. Yep. All in one. The bathroom is separate, and it just yeah, it's just really nice and cosy, and especially in winter that you have the fire and that's gorgeous. Or yep. Um, summer, spring, any time of year, it's lovely. Perfect getaway, so close to Adelaide as well. Yeah, it's only about an hour from Adelaide and it's close to the Claren Vale wine region. Or you can go to the strawberry farm and yep. pick your own strawberries, right, have hello. a feast. Yep. You can go to the trout farm, blueberries, lots of local produce, beautiful bushwalks. Yeah, there's a lot to do. I think about Columbus. it as a as a bloke, this would be the perfect spot to surprise your wife with and say, yes. right, we're going for a night away, don't tell her where you're going to go. Yep. On your way, pick some strawberries, stop off at the trout farm, catch your own trout, yep. come here, cook it, fire, romantic yep. night, the nice rest writes itself, finger. Nice hey. bottle of Minko wine. Yep. <laughs> there it is. It. It's good. Very nice. The Bank SA $200 challenge saw us spend two days and one night in Flurio Peninsula for under $200. Well, did we make it? The night's accommodation at Minko cost $160 per night, plus that includes provisions for breakfast and a free bottle of wine. If you have more than one night there, it's even cheaper. Petrol to Mount Compass set us back 22 bucks, and food, well, we packed sandwiches for lunch and cooked some pasta for dinner. That was just over 16 bucks. So the total cost all up was just under $200 for an awesome romantic getaway that was under an hour from the CBD. I'm back in love with the wife, job done. The actual cost of using extras in a TV show is quite expensive. On South Aussie with Cozzy, we like to use cows that are on the side of the road. How friendly is this guy? Just a cow in a paddock, pulled over and said g'day. You know, that's just one accommodation place you can stay in Mount Compass, but there literally are heaps and heaps of them. 
There's also something very special that happens here once a year, and that is the Mount Compass Cup. And that's where we're heading next. Well, where are we and what are we doing? Well, this is the grandstand at Mount Compass and we are here for a once a year event and that is the only cow race in Australia, perhaps the world. It's called the Mount Compass Cup and we're here to check it out. I like your hat. I'm super passionate about promoting country events in regional South Australia and the Mount Compass Cup is an absolute killer. Bruce, you share my passion, mate. Tell us about this event and what it means to the community. Well, Cosy, uh, this event started about 39 years ago as a rural youth event. It's Australia's only cow, cow race. race. Is yes. there any other cow races in the world? Uh, not that I am aware of. Wow. Uh, I know that Meadows has another tug, but that's a milking competition, not a, an actual race. You know what's amazing is that there's actually a Japanese camera crew here yes. filming. Now, last year I think we had a Chinese camera crew here filming. Yes, it's that's actually right. an event that attracts international interest. Absolutely. About 10 years ago, we had uh, a Japanese uh, crew here, yep. and I do know that it's actually it's been um, blasted across television screens in Europe and in the United States of America. So they've all had a go at being here and they all look to come back again. So, so for people that have never been to the Mount Compass Cup, tell yes. us what they could expect to find here. Well, um, initially, lots and lots of entertainment and fun for the kids. Yep, yep. It's about a, a low cost day. Uh, to get in is only five bucks a family or something. Yep. And that money all goes to local charities. Um, the uh, children have got plenty of sideshows to attend. But most of all, it's about having the children and the young people in the arena doing things and keeping the spirit of rural youth alive. Right, Amanda's husband's working up at Moomba up in the mine, so I thought it's a good chance to bail her up. How's your day going? Yeah, great. We're having a wonderful day. It's just gorgeous weather, gorgeous environment, great family fun. And who's this little curly-haired young lady right here? This is at the apple of our eye, yeah. Lola. She's three years old. Very cute. Yeah. She loves her bubble machine. She loves the bubble machine. Yep, she's having an awesome day. We've been on the clowns, yep. on the um, jumping castle, yep. seen all the activities. It's been wonderful. And why is it important to get out with your kids? You're from Norlunga, so you've made yeah. a trip down south? Yeah. Oh, look, I just think, you know, spending time with your kids is the most important thing you can do. You bet. That's what yeah. the whole show's about. Oh! <laughs> Mount Compass Cup's full of classic events, including the milk scale. Check this out. Competitors run and scale a litre of milk off a hay bale. Then they run to the next bale of hay, scale another litre of milk, and then they, I guess, try to run to the finish line. My favourite contestant for the day was the only female in the race. Her name was Simone. Now, let's have a quick look where it all went horribly wrong for you. Uh, now, what happened? You had two litres of milk in your stomach, and what? Oh, it hurts. Like, you can feel it. It's so cold. And, uh, yeah, it made me want to feel like growing up. <laughs> and it did, right in front of the kids as well. So what would your mum and dad say if they could see you now, huh? Uh, I don't know. I think they'd be pretty proud. Pretty proud. I think they'd only that. Yeah, but, yeah. One day, you know, I've got two girls of my own and, and I just hope, I just pray that one day they can make me as proud as she's just made her dad. What a girl, huh? There's also a BMX obstacle race and anyone of any age can actually enter this. You've got to dodge a heap of obstacles and you've got to weave your way around the track. Turns out, ladies' luck on the day, well, it just wasn't swinging the girls' way. I've run into, uh, well, okay, you tell them how, how we're associated. Well, we knew um, Cosy when he went to school with our daughter. Yeah. Many years ago in Kadena. Yes, and then yes. her and I could have been something beautiful if only she was interested. <laughs> well. You know, the Mount Cuppers Cup has been going for about 40 years, and uh, that's about as long as Tony's been growing this beard here, am I right, mate? <laughs> Not quite that long, but. Uh... How's the setting as well, huh? Well, it's fantastic. It's a beautiful day, but the best thing I think about today is that everything is reasonable prices. It's just a great uh, community event. It's a great feel. <coughs> I just, I mean, I think uh, it's our fourth year in a row, yep. and it's just fantastic. Where do you guys come from? 
come from Salisbury. Salisbury come out here for a day? Yep. You know, you can buy a sausage and bread at $2, a can of drink for $2 and it's not an expensive day for days out. So do you bring your own couch here every year? First year. First year. Yeah. Spare of the moment type thing it was. Was it? Yeah. I bet this was thought up last night about 2am. I know what we should do. How about the little bloke? This is Christian, he's just over two years old. Well this one's three, we could do an arranged marriage. Yeah, well maybe. I need to see, see your last three tax returns and then we'll talk about it. <laughs> Enjoy the day too. Thanks for the coffee. Cheers mate. It was on the back of the ute, but we've uh, dragged it over here by the fence for the. So we've got the prime position for the cow race. And how long have you two guys been together? <laughs> I tell you what, don't move a muscle because coming up next we see the main event. It's the famous Mount Compass Cow Race. We're at the Mount Compass Cup, and you're watching South Aussie with Cosby. G'day, I'm Emily and I'm at the Mount Compass Ute Show and you're watching South Aussie with Cosy. South Aussie with Cosy. What you do is if your kids play up, you actually fill those balls up with water. Every year the committee. There's no doubt about it, the biggest event of the day is the Mount Compass Cow Race. You know, it's the only cow race in the world and it happens right here in Mount Compass in South Australia. How cool! It's the race that stops a nation. Well, not really a nation as such, more or less just a small town on the Fleury Oak. But still, you kind of get what I'm saying. Here's what they're competing for. That right there, folks, is the Mount Compass Cup. Five, Five four, three, three two, 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 one. Right and away we go! Uh, okay, the rules. Now, they're pretty simple, relatively, I suppose. One person has to sit on top of the cow, while the rest of the team has to help guide the cow across the finish line. The first cow to cross the finish line, da 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 you won yourself the Mount Compass Cup. I gotta say, Mount Compass is a fantastic country town. Plenty of character and plenty to do, but really make sure you keep your eye out for the only cow race in the world, the annual Mount Compass Cup. I'll see you here next year. You don't see it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hamish Hartlett is a power star down there at Alberton. Let's find out a little bit more about what this food land mighty South Aussie loves about living in SA. Yeah, I grew up in Glenelg North, um, went to school at Sacred Heart College and I currently live at Morfordville, so not far away from, from where I grew up as a young fella. Our uh, favourite holiday destination would have to be Victor Harbour, um, very relaxed down there, there's plenty to do, you've got you know, fishing at the Bluff and there's Granite Island and you know, there's plenty to do down there, so that'd be my favourite for sure. Yeah, well, the best country pub I've been to would have to be the Coop's Ale House at Wallaroo. Um, Beautiful setting right on the marina, so overlooking the water and it's a, it's a great feed and you'll have a good night there. We are here at Metro Holden on Port Road. Now as you know, South Aussie with Cozzy is all about jumping in your cars and travelling around the beautiful South Australia. But road safety is ever so important, so I've stopped by here at Metro Holden to talk to this guy. He's a guru when it comes to road safety. Steve, thanks for joining us buddy. Now tell us, the top three tips for road safety. First one really we should look at road safety is A, which is stay alert. Stay alert all the time, be conscious of everything that's going on outside the car and inside the car. Then we move on to B, of course, which is brakes. Uh, and it's important all the time to take those brakes. Um, if you've got somebody else in the car that can drive, let them have a drive after two hours. And then, of course, C, we move on to C, which is consideration, which is having consideration for every other road user. Let the caravans get by, let the B doubles get by. Um, the slower people on the road that maybe don't know where they're going, uh, but have consideration all the time for other road users. Actually, brakes is really important as well, isn't it? With South Australia being such a vast place, you know, we are travelling long distances. Oh, we sure are, and the, uh, I mean, that gap between A and B, and we all know we want to get there, is plan your trip as well. Give yourself plenty of time to get there, and as I say, take that break. There's plenty of other tips as well. Just go to the website, www.metroholden.com.au. I'm here at Neptune Island, which is just off the coast of Port Lincoln in SA, and we have locked on to a heap of these. Valley, there's stacks of them out here. Each week on South Aussie with Cozzy, we're asking you guys to send in your viewers' clips. Now, that could be your home video, could be something you shot on your little phone, or some family photos. Just send them into the website, southaussiewithcozzy.com.au. Let's check out this week's winner. 
Chris is from North Brighton and him and his daughter love jumping in the car on a Friday Arvo for a quick weekend on Lake Bonnie in Barmer. It's actually where my dad's family's from. There's even a Costello Road. Anyway, Chris even takes the dog on the boat. Ah, good times and great memories. Did you know that Lake Bonnie's actually a man-made lake? There's a fact. Chris, for sending in your holiday happy snaps, mate, you go in the draw to win $500 cash. That's all thanks to the Adelaide Arcade. If you've got some holiday happy snaps, we'll send them through to me at southaussiewithcozzy.com.au. Hi, I'm Gina, Vula, Bianca, Becky. And we're standing down here on the banks of the River Murray. And you're, you're watching South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy. We're here in the Barossa Valley, just outside of Tanunda at Norm's Cooley Dogs. He has performances out here a few times a week. It's really good. You should check it out. How many dogs have you got, Norm? About 40? 40. 40 dogs. Yeah. Trains them all. They all listen to him. It's unreal. Hey, holidaying in South Australia is cool. We all know that. Even better when you don't have to spend a brass razoo. Here's where it gets really good. I've got some free holidays to give away. SA Shorts holiday packages, all thanks to the South Australian Tourism Commission. Do you want to win one? Head to the website, that's where you go, and you could be heading somewhere like this. Oh, hang on, before I show you, watch this dog trick. No, 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 dog's out. Come here. Here's your chance to get to Kangaroo Island for free, staying at Vivon Bay, voted the best beach in 2002. Cooperlander dreaming overlooks the bay and sleeps up to six people. Don't be surprised to find wallabies and echidnas in the garden or walk up the road and you're going to see little penguins. You also get a bottle of wine on arrival and all the ingredients you need to make your own bread. Did you know there's over 400 South Australian holiday locations in the Shorts Holiday Book? If you'd like to win a Shorts Holiday Package for free, all thanks to the South Australian Tourism Commission, then head to southaussiewithcozzy.com.au. Good luck. You know, I'm no wine expert. In fact, I know next to nothing about wine. But I do know this. Here in South Australia, we've got three of the best wine regions in the world. I don't know why I'm holding up two fingers, and that is three, right? McLaren Vale, Barossa Valley, and Clare Valley. Three of the best wine regions in the world, but ask yourself this. When's the last time you actually went out and checked out a cellar door? Might have been a while. That's why I thought I'd remind you just how good they are. So, we've headed to Penfolds. Now we're going Annie's Lane, come on. Hey, what's the most under, underrated mode of transport? Check this out, skipping. When's the last time you skipped? Well, here we are at the beautiful Annie's Lane and this man is the chief winemaker of Annie's Lane. Alex, thanks for joining us, mate. Oh, thank you for having me. Tell us about the winery. Well, I guess Annie's Lane is uh, based in uh, Clare Valley, yep, uh, yep. Watervale, um, an hour and a half out of Adelaide, it's very close. Um, Watervale is a picturesque sort of town and uh, we have, uh, we make wines, uh, a whole range. Uh, I'll be bugging a winery that makes wines. Yeah, actually. <laughs> now that is a first. You should be marketing yourselves on that. Yeah, well, pretty much Riesling, Cabernet and Shiraz is what we make. What and, about uh, that? What's your most famous wine here? I love making the Riesling from Clare Valley. Yep. We're well known for, for Riesling, uh, but we also have Shiraz and Cabernet and we've got the Semillon vineyard over there. and yep. we've got other varieties that we play with and make as well. So. And from a tourist point of view, if I'm sitting in the city and I think, I'm going to go out to Clare and see some wines, how much does it cost to come out here and visit one of these wineries and have a sample of some of your wines? Ah, pretty much the petrol to get up here. Nothing. So, nothing at all. all right. can... That's what I like about it. Let's go check it out. Okay. Nothing at all. It's totally free and you can enjoy all of this. So mate, this is the famous Annie's Lane Winery Museum, is it? Yeah, that's uh, actually one of the workers here, uh, Grant, he's actually looked after this and preserved the, the museum and he's kept yep. everything from sort of uh, the winery and the vineyards. Um, we've got the old tractor there. What about uh, your favourite piece, mate? What's your, the, the best bit in the museum? Uh, there's one photo I'd love to show you. It's actually a photo of a, a tug of war. It was a strike yeah. um, between the employees and the employees and uh, they sorted it out. They got the, uh, the tug of war outside the front and there's really? some photos of everyone around yeah. and they went for it. So that's how they resolved the strike. Okay, yeah. you want that, you want that, let's have yeah, a tug of let's war. Let's just sort it out and we'll sort out the strike there and done, That's all done brilliant. and dusted. Yeah. Well, I've got one of Annie's Lane's customers here. I've got Tan, mate. You're from? I'm from Singapore. Welcome to South Australia, mate. Thank you. And thank the, you. what do you think of the Clare Valley? I love it so far. This is the first place we stopped and then uh, I got the three bottles of wine. Uh, love it here and the, the wine tastes great.
Hey, South Australians probably forget how lucky they are really when it comes to wine regions. We've got some of the best, like world's best, really in our back, back door, haven't we? The wines from Clare Valley are known around the world. I mean, the reasoning in Shiraz Cabernet, uh, you're only an hour and a half up. You can come up with a packed lunch, stay out in the grounds, yep. um, bring everyone through. We usually have something which uh, everyone's going to like. We make different wine styles. Um, it's a unique experience when you come through. There's only wines here and the small volumes, uh, and they're also the aged wines as well. So you get to learn about them. And you guys are also famous for hosting Day on the Green as well. Yeah, Annie's Lane hosts Day on the Green. Uh, we've had some, you know, it's great to see 6,000 people out there. You know, they all love music yeah. and they have a, a, great, a great day. Who's some of your acts that have been out here and performed here? Well, I mean, I've, I've loved seeing sort of Tom Jones, who was a classic oh, sort of okay, performer. Yeah, yeah. Barnes was here, so it um, yep. goes on. Paul Kelly's been here, we've had Missy Higgins, uh, the list goes on. Beautiful. Well, thanks for having us, mate. Take care of yourself. Yeah, thank you. See you, Alex. See ya. Can't let a whole show go past without you guys actually learning something. So I'm going to hit you up with a, with a quick fact about Clare. How did Clare Valley get its name? It was named after a little town from what country do you think? Ireland, to be sure. Well, to be relatively sure, I actually got that off Wikipedia. Clare Valley was named after a town called Clare in Ireland. If that's not true, please let me know. SouthAussieWithCosie.com.au This kid's at South Aussie with Cosie. Well, that's it for another episode of South Aussie with Cozzy. We're going to finish it from right here at Mount Compass. Famous for its what? Cow racing. It's Australia's only cow race that happens once a year right here in Mount Compass. Before I let you go, I'll give these guys the rest of this. I need to tell you two things. Number one, the Facebook page. Like us at South Aussie with Cozzy. And also the website, southaussiewithcozzy.com.au. Tell us where you think we should be heading in South Australia. Until next week, take care of yourself. Uru. These are good cows. Oh, still got it. <laughs> In South Australia, we will go head away, holiday. South Australia, all the way. South Aussie with Cozzy. South Aussie with Cozzy is proudly brought to you by the South Australian Tourism Commission. South Aussie with Cozzy. I like bushums. <laughs>